I'm Guy Warman, Associate Professor in the Department of Anesthesiology, and I co-head up the Chronobiology Research Group. Being in the Department of Anesthesiology, the main focus of our research is on the interaction between general anesthesia and the circadian clock and sleep. We started doing some work on a model system, the honeybee, to look at the effect of anesthesia on time perception. Honeybees are the best model to look at time perception because they show in their daily behaviours a whole suite of activities that are time compensated. By looking at where they're flying with respect to the sun, you can tell what time of the day they think it is. We were able to understand how general anaesthesia elicits jet lag in honeybees and how it affects their perception of time. We were able then to understand the counteracting effects of light and anaesthesia on the honeybee clock. Based on the work that we did in honeybees, we conducted a trial giving blue light to kidney donor patients during their operation and looked at the disruption that is caused by anaesthesia and surgery on sleep and circadian rhythms in the post-operative patient, then the effectiveness of blue light in reducing that, and have found that that is in fact the case, that blue light does reduce the sleep and biological clock disruption that you get by virtue of having an operation. The impact of this research is that by preventing biological clock disruption in the post-operative patient, we can potentially speed up post-operative recovery and have people going home from the hospital sooner. <laughs>